Johnny Mack, BH Daily. James Wine, how is this for a spot? <laughs> we're up here in Byron Bay with a crew from the flight we're board. We're on Belongia Beach, literally, literally on it. We're on the beach. This is the beach. These are the boards. We're going to take these out for a spin. Ooh, look at that kookaburra. I mean, yeah. you can't really get much better of a spot than this, does it? We're going to have no. to lunch first. And we're up here for 24 hours to check out everything the flight board are doing with these epic machines. And uh, tomorrow we're going to check out the factory. You haven't yep. been on a flight board, have you? No, I haven't. Let's not I talk about it. You have, so you, I've got a lot of a lot of expectations just, for you. Just, just once, a couple of months ago, um, <laughs> for about 90 minutes. But Can you give me a quick rundown? Because is this like, we've got like the, pro, these are a bit smaller. We've got like a bit of a pro setup so, up to a kook setup? Yeah, so kook and kook. <laughs> That'll be me. Uh, you will probably start on the kook setup. Yeah. yeah. So there's a thicker board, obviously. Yeah. Um, it's more stable. Yeah, uh, yeah. Getting it up onto a plane is incredibly tough. It's okay. Like, David was saying before the CEO, it's kind of like having a plate yeah. on your flight board and there's a little ball bearing in the middle. And you can't. And if that ball bearing falls off the plate, yeah. you can't. Yeah. So that's sort of coupe level and then obviously you can yeah. dress up to This is a cool car color. Oh yeah, I like that a lot. This control set up here is Bluetooth. Yeah. So it actually connects to the front of the board. Yeah, cool. And every time you fall off, you just hold it up against the thing, it yeah. connects. And you can adjust your speed on here. I've got you quite trigger. close because the sound is the oh, sound yeah. of the beautiful waves. Yeah, of course, of course. A little loud. I like this finish actually. It's kind of like a wood finish on this one. A bit of a wood veneer. It is. And then you kind of get up to your more pro, your yeah. high tech sort of stuff here. Look at this yeah. house. I know. Heaven. What a spot, hey? Flyport HQ. How good. How good. <laughs> James, you ready, you ready to go? <laughs> Yeah, what do you reckon? I look the part. You do look the part. A couple of waves about those today, yeah. which is going to make your first time a bit, a bit tricky. Yeah. Uh, but hopefully we'll just get out past them once we're out there. You, that's flat. your fault though. I wouldn't be what? thinking, I wouldn't be nervous about it. The waves. If you didn't tell me that the waves will make it really difficult. Um, we've got the boys here as well. You're going to take us out. You can? You good to go? Yeah, I'm ready to go. Let's okay, do it. we got Jeff with the drone over there. All right, that one's mine? Yeah, all for you. Perfect, thank you. To film off, John. <laughs> on my phone away from just me. quickly, you yep. and me, beer there, oh, sunset. It's a on little bit beach. camp, but I'm down with it. John, Hammering. what'd you think? You Maybe haven't been in the chop before? No, I haven't. And I think the reason why I was kind of like so put off about the chop before we even got in is because I was doing it on flat water in the horse creek. Yeah. And like a bit away from a boat would come through. Yeah. And it'd throw you off because it's so rogue. Yeah. But when it's hitting you so often out yeah. there, and you just you, you don't just even think about it. it do you? <laughs> you don't even think about it. So if we can do that, James. Tomorrow morning, tomorrow morning. Hopefully, crack of dawn <laughs> should be absolutely primo. Did you see the dolphins? I didn't see them, no. Nah, they're right underneath us. Before we get beers and we get into the hot tub, yeah. while David's washing down the, uh, the boards, let's have a quick Q&A with him because I want yeah. to talk to him a bit more and introduce him because we haven't done that yeah. just yet. All right, James, going to have a quick look at the tech a little bit closer up. We're here with yes. Flightboard founder, David Truon. Thank you so much for having us Pleasure. here today. First session done. What were your thoughts? Who who scored better? Oh, that was fun. You guys did really well. I mean, the fact that you haven't done it before, I was pretty impressed, especially because it was pretty choppy out yeah. there. Yeah. Right. It's, it's, it's super addictive. That's all I can say. Like, it is crazy. It's unlike any other feeling, yeah, the yeah. sensation you can ever get, is it? It's yeah, like yeah. flying. It's like yeah. a magic carpet. All right, so... Flightboard, this is the uh, one step up from the Coop version, and then we've got uh, <laughs> this one. This is a standard 100 litre board, which is probably yeah. the cup board that 70% of people would buy. We're looking at a surfboard, it's got a battery in here, the battery's over here, isn't it? Yeah, there's a the battery, yep. yep. So that battery fits battery, into there. 2.1 kilowatt hour battery, so that's same sort of battery that's in a Tesla or powering your house with yep. the power wall. And this is heavy, I've had, I had yeah, this yeah. up. It's because it's got a lot of cells in it. Okay. You know, that will literally run this house yep. for a day, you know, so. Wow. So um, how long can you operate this on the battery for? It, re it depends a lot on weight, yep. wings, prop, all that okay. sort of stuff. Efficiency. I can, I'm 90 kilos. Yeah. You know, I can ride for one and a half hours. Okay, well. Um, my son, who's 65 kilos, can probably ride for nearly three hours. You yeah, know? Wow. So, yeah. Wow. You start off in displacement mode, which yeah. you're pushing the water. You pull the trigger, you get moving. Yeah. You get speed, you get planing. So now you're skipping across the water. Yeah, as cool. soon as you're doing that, the wings are working yeah. like an aeroplane. And you're, except instead of having elevators on the aeroplane, your body's the elevator, you shift the weight back, yeah. you change the angle of attack, and you're flying, and then you're controlling it all with your weight. Yeah, awesome. Okay, brilliant. So, John, just quickly, for somebody who's never done it before, it's not like surfing, where you feel the power of the wave pick you up, and you have to use that 
to get up on your feet. You can control it a lot. You can take your time on this, which is really nice. Totally, so it's yeah. a trigger mechanism on this. Is this yep. Bluetooth? This is Bluetooth. So we've got Bluetooth connecting to the board, running this electric motor, quiet electric motor, and uh, this little prop and our carbon fiber wings, which are uh, basically it's just an airplane in the water. Yeah, right, yeah. awesome. Let's talk about materials. This one, fiberglass. This is carbon, carbon fiber as well. But there's exposed carbon here. That's yep. an air, that's so. Inflatable. So you, yeah. serve an, so you sell an inflatable version, which is for sort of a learning one. It's great for yachts. Okay. Rocky beaches in the med, yep. <laughs> things yeah. like that. Okay. Um, families, you know, you can bet you fall on it and you bounce off it. Far um, easier to get up and ride. Easier as well, for I the. I reckon it's easy for the first session. Yeah. But then once you once you're up and riding, I unless you're a heavier it. rider, yeah. you, you and you found it. This this will touch down more cleanly on the water. Yeah. So it's more enjoyable to ride once you can Agreed. do it. This is more forgiving to yep. start out on. Yeah. Yeah. What's this one with this wood wood grain? Yeah. So this is a this is a timber finish. Timber it's finish. Ash veneer. Okay. Um, over carbon as well. It's it's ash veneer over carbon yep. with a full carbon bottom. Okay. Um, these these coloured ones, the silver one and the green one. Um, this is called a negra carbon. So a negra is like Kevlar, it's a yep. bulletproof material. Yep. So we've got a negra woven with carbon and then we've tinted over the top of that. Okay. So this is still full carbon. Yeah, well. wow, so this is what you're riding. Yeah, this, this is a little ultra, this is four foot two, 50 litres. And this um, has got if I stand straps. on it without moving, it sinks. <laughs> yeah, okay, <laughs> but right. I've got foot straps and a different shaped wing, you know? So this wing- I'll be get out of the shuttle. This wing is like a V-shape. Those wings are designed for stabi for stability. This is designed for instability. Oh okay. yeah, look at that. You know, That's interesting. Yeah, I didn't totally notice that. Totally different wing shape. It really know? is. And then I've got a prototype, what we call a true glide prop. And this prop, um, it works one way. And when you catch a wave, you let go of the trigger, and it's got no resistance. And okay. so you can just turn the power off, okay. and you can just ride the wave. You can just glide, which is awesome. Yeah. And what do you can I just ask? Yeah. What are we? What's entry price? It's a good question, Dave. <laughs> no, I, th I think in Australia they're all seventeen nine nine. Seventeen nine. Okay, so yeah, it is because yeah. we put one in the Christmas gift guide at the end of last year. Yeah, yeah. 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 How quickly will you be like, okay, I'm yeah. too good for this? Yeah. But if you buy that, you can you can challenge yourself more. Yeah, exactly. It'll be a bit harder to get learning to, yeah. to get up and going. Yeah. Um, but you can also the other thing you can do is you could you could buy that board. And when you really get into it, get a new board. You could you could just buy that board. Yeah, it cool. goes on straight on that mast right. and a new wing, and it's like yeah, okay. you've got both. Awesome. Yeah, right. Because it's the battery, the battery and the foil are where most of the cost okay. is. You know. Okay. Yeah. So you can just continue to upgrade components. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. That's Man. cool. I didn't yeah. know that. Yeah, awesome. awesome. Tough biz. Yeah. Great. You reckon beer? <laughs> beer. Let's do it. <laughs> Day for it. Ooh, baby. That's nice. Yeah. Cheers to that. Yeah. How good, lads. How good. Alright, day two James. <laughs> a little bit messy at the front here, but I think that's just a bit of a channel. Out the back is definitely yeah, no. a lot flatter. Sandbar. Yeah, There's a, there, there was only a bit more swell when we first got up, but I think it's going to be pretty chill. Donny, we pulled the pin. No go. No go. <laughs> too much swell. I bought a little bit too much swell. We just like saw, you said. We just saw a, a larger set come through and it's probably the last thing you need to contend with having one of these flip and copping it. Bit of carbon off. It's also miles. fun getting out there, but then getting back in too. The swell was pick up and yeah, yeah. kind of cooked. So we're going to go to the Bruns River instead. Nice and flat. A little bit murky, probably, but. It's a bit of a sharky vibe. Bit of a sharky vibe, but. Going to get some A grade E foiling in. I hope so. Too. Done and dusted. How clear is that water out there? Yeah, it's really warm as well. The difference in also like the difference in that wing, like, and this wing is absolutely crazy because this is for stability and that's the, the maneuverability. Mm. The wing changes the ride totally dramatically. So this wing is a cruiser wing. Yeah. Um, as you can see, it's got this sort of upside down U shape, um, and it's got some sweep, and all of that means is that. Uh, it creates stability. So this is a wing that most people start on yep. and learn on. Um, that's got the same kind of shape, but this is a smaller version. This is what we call the fly wing. Okay. A little bit higher aspect, faster, more responsive. So as you progress, you... You, you progress you, onto, yep. from that one onto yep. this one. Yeah. Then we go to this one, and you can see... Oh, wow. Totally different. You know, totally different shape. 
Um, totally different shape this way as well. You know, in terms of this has got sweep, like the wingtips are swept back. This one is not so much. Um, but this shape here, um, so what this does is this creates stability. Yeah. Um, this creates instability. Yeah. <laughs> so this is a lot more responsive and than this wing. You're controlling that one with your legs. Yeah. This one with your feet. Yeah. This one with, with your toes. Your toes are here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, okay. Right. Okay, yeah. cool. Yeah. Going right. to the factory now. We are going to go to the factory now. Awesome. Maybe you should jump in the uh, spa first though. Yeah, Warm I'd up. Like <laughs> <laughs> Alright, HQ. Mm. We're at the factory. We are, and it's an epic space. David's here with us as well, and Jeff out the back there. Epic space. There's a lot going on, and there's a lot of fellas working very silently on some very important so things. Um, everything is being assembled here. Well, the, for the eFall system, yep. the whole motor unit, we, yep. that's what we assemble here, yeah. which is really the, the, the guts of the flight board and the brains of the flight board. Yeah, so wow. these are motors and they're, they're going to have a gearbox attached. And so we use a planetary gearbox in the flight board, which actually is the same as what my Porsche Taycan, Taycan uses, <laughs> the planetary gearbox. So that what it's that does is it takes the, uh, the, the RPM of the motor and it, it reduces it sort of four to one, so you get four times the torque, so it quadruples the torque. Yeah, okay. Um, yeah, so you get, the, you get the benefit of a high speed High spinning electric motor yep. with a slow speed high torque propeller, yep. which is which is more efficient. So here's our fuselage here, which Eli's you know checking all the tolerances and measurements, making sure it's perfect. So this is milled out of one piece of aluminium. So this takes 15 hours of machine time wow. to man to mill this, and then it's hand sanded, bead blasted, and anodized. Um, and so this is one of the really key things that, that's uh, it's a pretty complicated uh, yeah. <laughs> piece of. Uh, of metal. So these are completed uh, flight board e-foils um, that have all been assembled. We've got the flight box on top, which is all the electronics goes in here. Um, and actually, black I can box recorder, hey? Yeah, exactly. I can fire this guy up. Um, so our new oh, wow. series two is so simple. It's really just you've got the e-foil and you've got the battery. This little magnet goes on there, and um, and then the system will will fire up and you'll see the lights come on. And awesome. uh, and that's it. So there's no electronics in the board now. In the, in the flight board, this is all of the, the electronics of the drivetrain and the hand controller, obviously. If, if the cost of this is four and a half, the, 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 the cost, you know, the majority of the cost of the whole thing to set up is, is, right is here. here. Yeah. So then you can yeah. customise it as you want. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Look at him, fascinating. <laughs> it's like lying. It's, it's it's well. I wouldn't have even noticed that was a frog. <laughs> How sustainable our product is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> for nature. So, yeah. <laughs> so sustainable. You know, when you buy a flight board, the, uh, the, the E4 power unit. Yeah comes like this. So we've, we've basically got our E4 unit here. We've got our charger, which is a really serious industrial charger that can charge a forklift. Yep, That's okay. Really serious. Uh, also part of the cost then. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Expensive, uh, fast charger. That'll charge the battery in about an hour and a half. Okay. Um, and then in this little pouch here, we've got our hand controller and a manual and all the other tools. Yeah, um, look at that. Anyway. Latches and lanyards. So, yep. you know, and there's wings that, 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 that come in here as well. So the board comes in its own bag as well. So you'll get, you'll get this in, as one package yep. um, and then the board is one package and generally they'll come together and the battery uh, may come together or it might come as a separate package because the battery has to be transported as dangerous goods. Yes, of course. So it just yeah. depends on whereabouts in the world and how it's being fulfilled. Just so we're clear, the board itself comes in another, like a surfboard style board yeah, bag yeah, for transport yeah, yeah. as well. And that's and free, as, that comes with that's, yeah, the, the purchase. Yeah, the bag comes with it. Yep. The bag's you know, really heavily padded. It's actually got what we call a bikini around the board, which yep. we came up with. This is all the power. Um, so we've got this little bag here and this is our, you know, 2.1 kilowatt hour um, battery with uh, a lot of engineering's gone into this actually because it's got to be waterproof. We've dropped these things from two meters onto concrete. I yeah. won't demonstrate now, <laughs> but um, continue to work. This battery would have take, taken a lot of R&D. Yeah, I think, right. I think we developed um, seven different batteries okay. yeah. that we made 20 prototypes for each of those wow. seven <laughs> before we got it into production yeah. because it's so important to get this right. Yeah, yeah, There's a lot of energy in here. Um, and it's being used in a really harsh environment. So yeah, we, we really want to get this right. So we think this is the best sort of marine battery, portable marine battery available. Thank you so much. <laughs> Pleasure. What? Yeah, it was I thought you just realized how tall you are. <laughs> <laughs> An unbelievable 24 hours. Thank you so much for showing us around. James, I mean, I don't know about you, but I'd love to be able to afford one. I yeah. can't right now, but if I could, Ooh. I'd be walking out of here. With I'm gonna boards. say it was way cooler than I thought it was gonna be and easier. So uh, yeah, it was, it was epic. Hopefully we've given you a good overview of everything to do with Flightboard. And uh, thanks to the guys for having us. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thanks, thanks very much. Thanks, Cheers. Great having you. How good? How good. <laughs>